All right, today we are working on solving multi-step inequalities. So this is super fun. My first equation is 2x minus 5 is less than or equal to 23. So what I need to do here is I need to think about, just like solving equations, how do I get my variable alone? And we work backwards, right? We work with that negative 5 first. I undo it by adding 5 to both sides. And then I have 2x because the negative 5 and the positive 5 is 0. And 2x plus 0 is 2x. And 23 and 5 is 28. Then I undo to get my x alone. I divide by 2. And 2 divided by 2 is 1. And 1x is x. And hey, look at that. x is then less than because 28 divided by 2 is 14. And that's my solution. If it asked us to graph, then we would set up a number line. Number two, please write this down. I've got negative 6y plus 5 is less than or equal to negative 16. Try this one, pause the video, and then hit play. So my first step is to subtract 5 from both sides because I have a plus 5. The opposite is to subtract. And then I have negative 6y is less than or equal to negative 21. Negative 21, right? Same sign, add and keep. And then I've got to divide by a negative 6. Uh-oh, divide by a negative. That should trigger something. When I divide by a negative, what happens? I flip my inequality symbol, and I get y is then greater or equal to, and this shouldn't be negative any longer, huh? This should be positive 3.5 because I divided by a negative. Negative divided by negative, and 21 divided by 6 is 3.5. All right, cool. So now we're taking it slightly harder here with number three. We have negative one-fourth times the quantity p minus 12 is greater than negative two. And there's two different approaches on how to solve this problem. Um, the first way would be to distribute that negative one-fourth here and here, and then you would do similar steps to here. Um, but there is an alternative approach that I'm going to show you that I did. Instead of distributing the fr uh, fraction because there's nothing else going on except this, I'm actually going to get rid of the fraction right away by multiplying by the negative denominator because this is a negative one-fourth. If I deal with the negative now, then all I have left is that 1. So I'm multiplying by negative 4 to both sides. I multiply by a negative. I've got to flip my inequality. So then negative 4 divided by negative 4 gives me just 1. And then 1 times p minus 12 flip my inequality. The reason I circle it is so that I don't forget when I rewrite it that I have to flip the inequality. And negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. And now this is pretty sweet. I then have p minus 12 because 1 times p minus 12 is p minus 12. And all I do is add my 12 and I get p is less than 20. Great. And I actually did that here so you're going to see that again right here. So I did all of those steps that I just showed you right here. So this is just a repeat of that problem slightly larger because there wasn't a lot of room to work there. Um, my last one where I'm expecting you to solve and graph, I have 9x plus 6 is less than or equal to 6x plus 21. So pause the video, try it, and then hit play when you're done. All right, so I've got variables on both sides. So I want to eliminate, I need to move the variables to one side. So I undo one side of them. I'm going to take my smaller value and subtract that from both sides. I then get 3x plus 6 is less than or equal to 21. And now it's a two-step inequality. And I subtract 6. 21 minus 6 is 15. Divide by 3. And I get x is less than or equal to 5. And because it's set to graph, I make my number line. Why is it a closed circle? Because it's equal and less than. Those are all the values going to the left. So that's what I shade. And that is multi-step inequalities.